side attack here. And this is going to be an absolutely critical attack coming up here from Effort. Looks like Effort's getting ready to make his move. He's now moving forward with the Spider Mines in the way. He's going to be able to take the Spider Mines down. There is a bunker as well down that will block those uh, Hydralis. Uh, but this is going to be critical here. It's going to be down to how well can Effort Micro. I'm not sure if he's got really enough there to break Flash's defenses. Flash looks to be there. He's, he's pulled some SCVs out as well. So far, his defense seems to be holding. He seems to have lost a couple of guys. He's got more than enough guys back. And Effort retreats, losing all of his Middlest in the process. And his switch didn't pay off, unfortunately, for him because Flash saw it coming. He saw it with his vultures. He sent those vultures to scout. And that's one of the things, that's that's another big difference. I mean, there are two things that, that I actually have cut myself off and saying in, in this commentary. There's two things that Flash is doing differently that is, that is allowing him to be such a more dominant force that he wasn't doing before. One is, we saw him uh, expanding too soon in previous games uh, in, in, in the past and getting caught out and losing that expansion. Uh, and as a result, losing the game and being vulnerable to kind of two hatch muta builds, and and that vulnerability is something that he's eroded from his game. And the other thing is that he seemed to be uh, a little bit arrogant in terms of his scouting and not wanting to scout. And that's not something he does anymore either. He scouts, he scouts, and he scouts relentlessly, and he keeps scouting through the game, and he keeps himself aware. Now he's putting that starport down as well. Uh, meanwhile, effort continues to put some more hardness down. Looks like he's trying, he's taken another expansion there, just at the three clock position as well. Effort feeling that while he's got flash pinned down a little bit, he's trying to get some sort of economic advantage uh, before flash gets so see tanks out and rolling uh, because Flash right now cannot do much against those Heartless uh, but Flash continues to once again scout with the Vulture sees that expansion going down at the 3 o'clock position that Vulture is probably going to get yeah it just gets just about gets picked off uh, Effort meanwhile looks like he's moving looks like Effort with speed upgrade overlord looks like he might be going for some sort of a drop here uh, into Flash's main and this could be a brilliant move if he can pull this off because Flash's force of course concentrated at the top and Flash putting some turrets down as well Flash I think with a comsat scan there I think Flash scanned that Flash knows it's coming did Effort not see that and now Flash with the Vulture coming in as well. So even if there wasn't a comp the Vulture definitely spotted those hardless. Flash is so brilliant. Oh my god. He totally anticipated that. I can't believe Effort's going to try and persist with this drop. He's coming into the overlords. Perhaps he feels that uh, Flash hadn't spotted him early enough. I'm sure he didn't see that comp set. And, he's, and yeah, it looks like he's lost one overlord. Lucky to lose only the one overlord, not lose the majority of his army there. That would have been horrible for Effort. But you feel that Flash is now starting to get in a decent position in this game uh, because he's held off all of Effort's advances. And Effort having built all those hardless. Remember those hardless once the siege tanks get going in the first siege tank all day when the siege tanks go going and get masked, those hardless are just gonna be absolute fodder. Uh, and and effort is gonna find it hard to contain Flash for much longer in this game. Uh, and he needed to do some damage and he wasn't able to do that and, and Flash obviously feeling that effort needed to do the damage, that effort would try something. It just kept an eye out for for that drop and he just he is literally reading Effort's mind here. I mean you wanna talk about people cheating and match fixing. Um, maybe Flash has got a, a miniaturized version version of effort screen it windowed on his screen because he completely predicted that it was brilliance by flash it has to be said absolute brilliance uh, of course he had spider mines later on as well but still the fact that he saw those and, and anticipated that drop great play by flash uh, and you've got to give him every credit for that there for thwarting that and that might be again he's he's, he's, he's with his scouting as i said that's one thing that's become a feature of his game of late he's he's af affected a couple of maneuvers that have given him i feel a good and very strong position in this game now uh, but it's, it's still in balance. I mean, remember, effort, effort does have those two extra bases that have been going for a while now. Flash looks like he's just about getting ready to take his third base. Um, but the problem for Effort is that Flash has now got that army, and of course Flash is a master of just sitting and absorbing and absorbing damage. And I really feel that that this sort of build that Effort's gone for against Flash, I'm not sure how effective it's going to be. If you're going to go for Mutalist against Flash, you're going to have to do some damage early on, and you might as well commit yourself wholeheartedly. Uh, and Effort really didn't. And unfortunately, his Hydralis uh, got caught out, spotted by Flash, and he wasn't able to do the damage. Now uh, Flash coming in with some vultures, trying to do some damage to Effort's economy. He's got about four vultures there. That's something probably is going to come in time. The Hydralis are coming by trying to intercept those. Sunken just about pops up. He's going to get at least a couple of drone kills. Uh, I think Effort managed to minimize his losses reasonably well. They only took a couple of drone kills. Meanwhile, it looks like he suicided Mutilus into Effort's base, which was filled with turrets. And a queen out now for Effort. Effort with a queen out. Uh, but I do feel that by this stage, Effort really should have been looking to get that hive up, and, I, and he hasn't gotten it up yet. And of course, um, he... he he needed to get Defilers going pretty soon because Flash looks like he's getting ready to move on. He's got his fifth factory now building and he's just going to be pumping out that turn with War Machine like nobody's business. And uh, I'm not sure if Effort has what it takes to stop this turn. War Machine and Effort with five queens now. Five queens. Is he going to try and go for the mass broodlings? It's going to be difficult with all the Goliaths in the way. One queen does manage to get a parasite in and I think that queen got taken out but he's managed to get at least a parasite in on the tank so he's going to be aware of Flash's troop movements. Um, but he's going to need something more than that because all I see right now for effort is a bunch of hydralists and queens and uh, maybe he's going to hope to try and draw the fire with the hydralists while he uses the queen to broodling the tanks I'm not sure he's now uh, being drawn in an effort meanwhile Flash 
establishes up on top of that ridge just south of that 12 o'clock position, getting ready to lay siege to it. He's got some glycine. He's trying to get a couple of vultures past, but uh, Effort has a precautionary sunken in place to prevent that. Now the Queen's jockeying for position, trying to find a movable position behind the tanks, but uh, Flash has got uh, his Goliaths in place and anticipates brilliantly uh, only a Parasite planted on one of the Goliaths yet again. Not really a great use of energy by Effort. I feel Effort once again. His hired is being drawn into this kill zone. This is horrible for Effort. His hired is. He managed to take a couple of siege tanks out. He's trying to close him in the siege tanks, but he's never going to be able to break through all those lines of siege tanks. More and more hired is coming in, but Flash just has too many troops on the ground. And now it looks like Effort is sending a mass of drones and hired is into what looks like the kill zone. Uh, Flash, though, un uh, doesn't have siege in, in range of all of those drones, uh, and he loses all of the drones. Effort, I guess he just wanted to absorb some damage to try and get those hired in. One again. He's going to once again pick off a couple of the uh, tanks, and now trying to get within range of those final tanks, but he's not going to be able to. An, an awful killing field, a horrible situation for effort, and it does look like Flash has cemented his lead in this game. Those queens really didn't do much at all, and now Flash is going to be able to see them as well with that spider mine uh, trying to come in from the rear. He manages to brutally one tank, uh, two more tanks up on that ridge, another two tanks there. If, if effort can perhaps take all the tanks, he managed to take out the two tanks again on the ridge, two more tanks left, not very high on health. If only he had a few zerglings. Meanwhile, those tanks laying siege to that sunken. Flash has got reinforcements arriving though he's continuing to produce those glides as well because of those queens out in the field for effort and effort is just in a lot of trouble right now effort once again coming with the hydralis uh, if he can manage to take those tanks out somehow but he's he, he's managed to take one more tank out he needs to take these two tanks out as well but effort not focusing i think his final attack now he's got mutilus coming out i guess he was trying to focus the glides right at the end because he seemed to have some mutilus he's trying to make a switch is it a switch to mutilus he's got a couple of mutilus there he really doesn't have enough more mutilus pouring in and uh, desperation stuff from effort hope starcraft as i like to call it not very effective mutilus coming in piecemeal to get killed and now flash and flash with the indignity to build flash subjecting rather effort to some indignity by building that command center just down south of that 12 o'clock expo and really i think he's trying to tell effort it's over mate gg time uh effort uh being a little bit stubborn right now you you might argue uh but this game definitely is going to go to flash despite um, his opponent's best effort. Sorry, I'm just the king of bad puns today, and it gives me a second while this game wraps up just to uh, just to, to, to comment on the whole on the whole scandal thing. I feel that Savior, the pantomime villain, we knew he was arrogant. Effort coming in with more mutilists. I just don't know if he's got enough. Flash has got a lot of Goliaths in play, uh, and, and and as it is, he's laying siege to Effort's economy while his own is untouched. Uh, this is going to probably be the final battle here between these two people, between these two guys here uh, for the first set, uh, and it does look like Flash is going to come out on top and take the win. GG to Flash. Uh, and effort does indeed GG there. Uh, but yeah, we, we like to think of Savior. We always knew Savior was arrogant. We, we, we reveled in the way he would dismantle opponents and pretend that they weren't good enough to face him. And that was part of his charm and part of his enjoyment. It was, it was I guess, part of his character. And, you know, I have to be honest, guys. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised that Savior was the big name player involved. If you had told me it was Boxer, I would have been shocked. But Savior... I'm I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because I I would have hoped that he would have had more integrity than that. But you know, if you if you gave me a list of if you told me that a big name StarCraft player uh, had been found uh, being corrupt uh, and, and involved in match fixing, and and you asked me who I would think that would be, um, I would probably have said Savior. Um, and and I know it's easy to say that in hindsight, but I think I think the signs were there uh, in, in in terms of just just the kind of personality he has that he would perhaps be susceptible. For that kind of thing. More on that later anyway. GG guys. Uh, Flash takes the first set uh, in, tr in what he is trying to make to be a season that will establish his legacy as one of the greatest Terrans of all time to try and win both Star Leagues in a single season. This is Clazart guys. Thanks for listening. See you in game two.